Hello, Melanie Jane here. Um, today, what are we doing? We're going to go to a place called Woodwall Spa, which is very famous for a golf course, among other things. It's quite a, I'm going to say, poshish village in Lincolnshire. It's quite nice. And um, we'll have a look round. I've got a few things, I think, to look at, and a high, little bit of a high street. So, yes, should be nice. I've um, not got anywhere to put my sound thingy. Now I have to clip it on this dress. So, um, apologies for the sound quality if it uh, breaks down at any point. Or you can't hear me. Hey ho. It's worth it for the dress, I think. Let me show you what I'm wearing. Sorry, I don't know that. That was the little lady in the in the machine up there. She's called Echo. <laughs> Hello, Echo. Mm. Oh, she doesn't say hello, obviously. I've never done, tried that before. Sultry sort of lady, isn't she? <laughs> so I'm wearing, uh, it's quite a nice warmish day. Got a nice uh, flowy silky dress, which is quite nice. Mm. Nice colours on it. Some pink heels, which match the pink on the dress. And then just in case it is a little bit chilly, I've got a white cardigan on. So, that's it for today. And we'll uh, get in the car and drive to Woodall Spa. It's about 20, 25 minutes from here. So, we'll get there soon. See you later. Fasten your seatbelt. Yeah, it got stuck. <laughs> Give you go do it one handed and holding a camera. <laughs> beautiful day. It is a beautiful day. Another beautiful day. We're getting a bit spoiled with beautiful <laughs> days. And green grass. So we're on the way to Woodall Spa. And this is a Fenland Road. David looks around, but we're now just going through some hedges, so you can't see anything, but just there you would have seen it was extremely flat. There's, there's a tractor. There is a tractor. Who said that? That couldn't have been me in that rough, deep, manly voice, could it? Tractor. <laughs> Bravo, job. Um, yeah, so uh, and this road is, uh, they have great difficulty keeping it together basically because the fens are moving all the time, so it's, it seems very long because it's limited to 40 miles an hour, but it's, well, there's a reason and it's very, very bumpy. We're about to go over one there, look. But of course the image stabilisation on a GoPro, you won't be able to see that we've been over loads of bumps. Other action cameras are available. <laughs> well, there we go. Nope. It's a strange. They've <laughs> so just put it up to 50, and then it's got really bumpy. And now it's back down to 40 again. And we're now going over the river, river Witham, which is the river that runs through Lincoln and down to Boston, I believe. So this is uh, a bridge. 
Bridge, the Kirkstead Bridge. And if you blink, you'll miss the river. Oh, better not, then. There it is. Oh, it's got loads of uh, algae on it. And the old station, just there, it's got it. Tuesday closed. Marvellous. We'll go somewhere else for coffee then. <laughs> you can see it's a lovely tea house. <laughs> it's beautiful. Isn't it? <laughs> I love the corrugated iron roof. Yeah. It's really nice inside. I'm surprised to see it's corrugated. I've got some corrugated roofs in our village. In the houses, or bungalows rather. Oh, so that's why they film it. <laughs> this is the very, it's quite a famous cinema. It's called a kinema in the woods. And it's tiny. And I've never been, but they play all the latest films. And it's the sort of cinema where they have an intermission and an organ comes up and plays a tune. Well, that's an organist playing a tune. So, and that's it over there. somewhere else for coffee. I don't know you're going to cope not having a coffee. Well I won't. Three coffee shops along here. Really? Yep. There was one with seating outside, but there might be one with seating at the back, I suppose. Sun's at the front. Like your cake, then. No, it's horrible. No, the cake is gorgeous. I didn't like my muffin. I had to make sure it was all bad, so I ate the lot. Just to be sure, to be sure.
So there's three coffee shops right next to one another. One there, this one. All right, there's a funeral parlor, and then there's another one. Caff's coffee shops. They must do meat. They must do meat. Well, they've got kebabs, burgers, and chicken listed. That's a restaurant, though, isn't it? Oh, right. Silly me. <laughs> that car park over there has got 12 spaces. Yeah. 12. I don't, the there, I don't, I don't get it. 12. And it's paying display. <laughs> and parking on the road's free. <laughs> well, let's hope so. Well, there's no lines, is there, sir? No. Well, there is, but they stop there. It's a lovely little shop. Yeah. Cakes are brilliant. Mine was fine. Cakes. Was your cake? It was beautiful. Oh, so this is it? This is what we I thought we was then going to the spa. <laughs> no. <laughs> right, okay. Right, now I understand. We'll go to a spa if there is. Fair enough. <laughs> That's why from an R fucking That's why I said bootful. 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 And it's Tuesday. The sign said Woodall Spa when we turned up, but it said please well, drive carefully. This, so. Yeah, this is Woodall Spa, yes. I know that's the yes. name of the place, but you would have spa here, this is Woodall Spa. You would think so. Well, I went to Waltham Abbey and there was an abbey. Yeah, yeah. Um, I went to Coventry and there was a tree. Uh, went to Leicester and there was quite a lot of hers. Um, <laughs> Come on, help me out here. Eh? <laughs> Edinburgh, print your birds. <laughs> Ignore it. <laughs> print your butchers in Nottingham <laughs> and Birmingham. <laughs> Let's go find the butchers. I've got a feeling we won't have to go far. has turned into a second-hand furniture shop.
smelly lorry. Yeah. Well, it was that or it was me. Mr. Gund, I wonder what they sell. The antiques no, and fish and chips. There isn't no butchers, is there? No. I think we'll have to go with your other plan over there. Trying to tell me something. <laughs> He's the lucky fella. <laughs> I find a lot of the butchers have disappeared due to the spread of like yeah, due to the spread of supermarkets. Might be a Neanderthal, but I know me history. Because Lincolnshire is called Bomber County. It is, yes. And they are Bomber constructing House. a Lancaster Bomber statue on the A46 from Newark into Lincoln. Right. And it's apparently going to be taller than the Angel of the North. Okay. So a big. I don't know when it'll be done. I don't know if they started it. I've no idea. As I'm interested in military aviation, I think that's great. But we've also got to remember it's like the castles. They're, they were oppressive. Yeah. They yeah. were destructive. They were instruments of war. Yeah. And so I can understand why people wouldn't like it. Yeah. But it's part of our history and I don't think you should ever get rid of that. Absolutely. You should learn from it. Yes, sir. So it doesn't happen again. I'm very Yeah, a lot of Canadians, wasn't there, in the... Uh, in the raft. Wow, and the trippets. Trippets, 1944, I thought it was earlier. Sorry, this, this turpits. Sorry, turpits, yes, I'm, I'm reading trippets. It's these glasses. And the turpits. Six 
seven squadron. Wow. Because they did more than just establish. Absolutely, yeah. Well, they still flew Lancasters, didn't they? Yeah. I think they flew Wellingtons before. Then flew Lancasters. What boots? <laughs> My old headmaster used to, was uh, in a Wellington, shot down. Who was? My old headmaster in my primary school. Yeah. So there was Woodall Spa. Quite a small place without a spa. We oh, learnt. Oh, we learnt the spa is where the cinema was. No, where the, the spa was, it was where the cinema is. But there's no bit of the spa left, apparently. And no butchers. And there's no butchers.